we're over here at Coyote Canyon and we're gonna try to work on this road make it a little bit passable put that branch back that's uh we got room but it's on the little scary side so we're gonna see what we can do that way we can get over it a little bit more then we're going down yonder and work on some more so i gotta get busy Bill says it's pretty hard. I've been putting rocks over there and he's been throwing dirt over there to drop off. I know the cars come through here, they can pack it down better. This is what you call our government not at work. Yeah. Uh, county give this road up. We probably talked about it before. Oh, a year or so ago and uh, this is BLM some of it's state some of it's private but a lot of it's BLM they ain't never gonna come over here probably do anything but a year or so ago the county commissioner got all the blame for it but I'm not so sure about that because they blocked this very road off and put a big sign up and it was a state sign. It was almost as big as, big as my truck probably and put concrete barriers on this road and on each side was state. So to go around on the state property you have to have a $30 a year permit is what they told me. But the state was involved in it. It wasn't just the county commissioner that was doing it. The state had uh, come out there and put that sign up and, and block the road. Uh, they took it down like a bunch of box of rats in, in a quiet manner and just tried to forget about it, but I'll never forget about it. They didn't go down on my taxes either, property taxes. I'm sure they're still getting money for this road yeah. and others. They, they claim it costs too much to take care of this road and they're not going to go uh tell where they get their money oh we don't need it now <laughs> yeah and this uh public land back in here most of it's blm is approximately eighteen thousand acres that is cut off from the public that we pay for we pay the believe it or not the blm doesn't just go out and pick up money off the road somewhere we pay for that uh, we pay for them to sit down there in Las Cruces in the comfort of their office. They could come up, they could put a dozer up here, park it, and come up here from time to time and fix this road. Uh, it does wash out in here and on down. There's about the only two places that really wash out, but they used to maintain this. The county used to maintain it all the way up to where it goes across that big rim there that's called coyote rim and it goes over a thing called coyote gap and it runs into uh private land there but they decided it was too much money they were spending uh and having said that they've been paving county roads continuous for the last 20 more years so they don't use the graders as much as they used to and uh, they've got, I think they've got the money, they just, they're just squandering it. That's, uh, uh, it's just another uh, government corruption thing. They're it temporary and uh, we'll get through because I don't like being shut off from what I paid for. Well, it'd be nice to get that branch out of the way. Yeah, I'd have to get my chainsaw on that. That's, yeah, that's, that scoots people over. We're just trying to get close to this wall as we can. Yeah.
Oh, that looks better. That way we can squeeze in through here. Okay, this is the next one. We're just trying to take the edge off of it and add some rocks best we could. I go go get my shovel. Like concrete. I always like to hike these little side shoots. They're fun. Trying to fill up this gap right here. It's hard to crawl up that. Of course, we got four wheel drive. Looks a little better after people wear it down. If we have to, we'll do it some more some other time. Okay, on to the next one. Y'all ready? You ready? Let's go. Bill's yeah. trying to knock this down. You get a little sideways, it feels very tipsy. So he's going to work on that. Just getting some edge off of it might help. We took a little bit off over there, but... It's like concrete. This middle's got a lot of sand. Dirt. So we're lowering it. Where it don't be so tipsy on this side. Fill it in. I'm glad we had that soft dirt right there. I tried to get some dirt off with a pick. But it's like concrete. No people drive on it. He'll beat it down. And like Bill said, he said, well, we can always come back in no time work some more on it. A little bit at a time. We're going to load the dogs up Bill. and get up there. Alright. Here we go. You want to this left side down a little bit more? Yeah. See how it feels. Uh, uh. Oh gosh. Get up here. That's a lot better. That was nice. Still spooky. Oh, yeah. We're heading back to four. Uh, by the foothills. We're at the mouth of Coyote Canyon. You go down that way, that's how you enter it. And uh, so we're taking a look, uh, see if we can find any treasures. Maybe bags of leaves, wood, anything.